My name is Adam Hazlett, and my book is Imagine Me Gone. What I've always been interested in in writing is interior life, what it's like to occupy a mind and a body, any character. I'm trying to get as far inside them as I can. Did you always know you would be a writer? Because this seems like what you were meant to do. I didn't. I. I started out acting and really? I actually went to college as a drama major and so I think part of that, the training I got in imagining my way into other lives, the lives of the characters, is something that I brought forward into writing but no, I just started as someone who wrote endlessly in journals because I needed to get things out, not for an audience but to get things in words and then I think it was the pleasure of writing sentences that were satisfying because that's how I fell in love with literature. I'm, I was just, I'm dyslexic so I was a slow reader and I didn't get the chance to consume a book over the course of like a day and be like oh I love that book. Right. So it, it took work. It took work. Tell us about Imagine Me Gone. Well it's a novel about a family uh, told from five different points of view. It centers on the struggles of the family to cope with the eldest brother, Michael, who is someone who suffers from depression and anxiety. And my main challenge in writing the book was trying to find a way to create a reading experience that got at both some of the darkness of these stories, but also a lot of the humor that families I think go through as a, as a matter of necessity, because sometimes these things are absurd. In some ways, the children in this story are living through a, a version of your childhood and things that yes. you lived through. Yes. What had to happen for you between then and now that enabled you to write about it and uh, turn it into fiction? I needed distance. Right. And I think I also needed to give myself the license to both use a lot of the details from my family life, but also give myself the permission to depart from the facts. Mm -hmm. Almost like a counterfactual history. Mm -hmm. So if you think about your own family, you think, well, what if? What if this had gone this way? What if that had gone that way? And so the imagination comes into writing those scenes and things that are part of, I think, a lot of our lives in relationship to family, but that's not, not what actually happens, what you imagine might happen. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. And thanks for joining us for A Word on Words. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. <laughs> when asked recently what I do to relax, I said that I don't often. Um, <laughs> you know, people sometimes ask me about hobbies. I tend to say staring out the window. That's a great uh, hobby.